Hey everyone, this is Lucky70X, and welcome back to Let's Play Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. In the last episode, we forcibly elongated Yubes intestines, or whatever the hell this is, and freaking dry bones get out of here. Uh, what are we gonna get here? We're gonna get, uh, is this, I mean, oh, eggs? What's inside? Uh, we're gonna get this from Russian, cool. But anyway, last episode, we forcibly elongated the Yubes intestines by putting a chomp rock down it, and this episode, we're going to continue to try to escape, because we must escape Yub in order to save the world. I don't know where I'm going with this. But anyway, let's continue down these passages. Uh, <sighs> dry bones, get out of here! They're freaking everywhere! Ah! And these dry bones are just so very annoying because, I mean, just look at. You have to really focus when you're dodging them because it's just so easy to take so much damage, and they rack up a lot of damage. I mean, 7 damage per hit, um, even at this stage. I mean, Mario has, what, 38 health, so that takes him down in like 6 hits. Now, like you said, like, you just see right there, it takes, takes it down. But that is giving me a unique opportunity to show that um, the Shrew Badge also does increase the health you get back from 1-Up Mushrooms. I think it's about like 75% now instead of 50, which is actually really significant. Uh, Shrew Badge is actually not that bad. Uh, it's not a bad badge to have, especially if you like to use Mushrooms a lot. So, I do recommend it. Of course, you don't ever have to buy one because the game does give you one. I'm not going to hit every freaking enemy in this entire passage. Get out of here. Um... Anyway, oh, I didn't show that last time. I, uh, if you, he has a, uh, he sometimes if you, uh, he, if you let him hit you, he actually does a little creepy laugh like that. However, if you do manage to jump on top of the car, as you just saw that right there, you can actually do uh, damage to him because he'll actually go back and hit him. So, uh, RC troops are troopers are fun to fight because you can actually counterattack and do damage to them. I don't like the enemies that you can't actually counterattack. It's always fun to, it's always really satisfying to get a counterattack here. Anyway, the Chomp Rock ended up here. Made nice dent into his into his large intestine. I don't even know. This is just gross to talk about. Uh, but that actually is the first area of Yub. Uh, there's actually two areas. So uh, as you see the picture up there, it's going to move down from the upper part to the lower section. Actually, kind of cool how they actually symbolize it by uh, changing the picture of Yub up there. Anyway, uh, whoa. Well, who is saying that? What is going on here? People are saying, whoa, sounds like a surfer. Whoa, man! Okay, that was horrible. That was a horrible impression. But there's Yoshi taking a bubble bath, except it's a bubble bath in a freaking... Yeah, that is gross. I don't even want to know what kind of fluid that is. But, oh, Yoshi just drowned. Uh, Yoshi's dead. Oh, no, Yoshi actually be turned to an egg. That's right. I mean, it is a giant Emmy Yoshi. It's going to make eggs. Kind of ironic. So, there's actually a... Yoshi in, uh, Yoshi egg making factory in here, or shrew egg making factory, which is just creepy as hell. This whole, this whole cube thing is just really, really freaking, yeah, it's a vile shrew work, that's what, that's what it is. Because they're freaking turning Yoshis into eggs inside of them, there's like a factory inside of you, which is just kind of creepy. And again, maybe all Yoshis have factories inside of them, I don't know. I mean, how do shy guys become eggs? Who knows? It's, it's a mystery of life. Maybe there is. Maybe there's like a little factory like this inside of every Yoshi. It's a rare opportunity to, be, to get inside Yoshi, of course, as a shrew Yoshi, so who knows. I'm going to obviously run into every single freaking RC shrewer I ever see, and that's going to be really freaking annoying, but at least I get a level up. So this one we're going to go for HP, because last time we got power, and we're going to get, come on, get something good. Good HP, good HP, good HP. Hey, 4 HP, that's good. Mario needs some health, actually, so that would be helpful to get. Uh, what about Luigi? Can we get some good health for Luigi? Come on, come on. Oh, just one. Like I said, Luigi is just getting RNG screwed this entire time. He's just not getting any sort of decent health at all. It seems like Mario and Baby Luigi are the ones who are getting all the good stuff. Even Baby Mario is getting screwed over a bit. I don't know. At one point, yeah, I actually didn't get power last time, so I'm going to get power this time. only get one power, though. Eh, not the best, but Baby Luigi's more of a tank anyway. At this rate, I'm going to end up playing with Mario and Baby Luigi, and I'll just have Luigi stay dead. No, not really. Ugh. More fights! Come on! Do I need these fights? Oh, at least these RC Shrooms actually drop Ultra Mushrooms, though, which I think heal 90 HP or 100 HP or something like that. Obviously, at this stage of the game, uh, Super Mushrooms are good, but it's always nice to have upper, uh, Ultra Mushrooms for later. Get out of here, Dry Bones! Stop throwing crap at me! No! No! Okay. Uh, it's really annoying to dodge these RC Shroobers, though, because, uh, or Shroobs, I forget what they're called, um, because they will send their, their car after you, so you kind of have to deke them out like that. You can't actually get that. That was a really epic dodge, actually. Did you see that? That was just a freaking amazing en bunch of enemy dodging there. That was pro. That is professional how to avoid enemies after not avoiding them for so long here. Uh, anyway, there's Shroob eggs and little platform things, and there appears to be Yoshis down there polishing another Chomp Rock. Haven't you had enough fun with Chomp Rocks yet? 
And once again, haven't you learned how to push Chomprox? Like I said before, I think pushing the back of your partner is not going to help you much. But, you know, they apparently don't learn. Uh, this whole factory thing is just weird. I love the music in Yub, actually. Just listen to the music for a little bit. I didn't really point this out last time. It's very appropriately creepy music. It, it really fits the mood. It's almost disturbingly creepy music. I really like it a lot. Um, anyway, the troops handily give us a sign saying, Don't get eggs wet. So what are we going to do? We're going to get the eggs wet. As you saw, we can actually push some of these eggs up. So you do this and, well, you think have much better timing than that. But you time it well, it hit this. The Yoshis will bash against the little that little rock. It looks like a freaking Yuvola there, which is disgusting, but it apparently frees the Yoshis. It doesn't kill them at all, so... Uh, I don't know about you, but if I fell from that height, I'd probably die. But not in this game, because this is a Mario game, and that's okay. Alright, so hit the egg, hit the egg. Oh, come on. Ugh, I just suck at shooting water, apparently. I am not very good at baby spit. Oh, well. Uh, nope, not that one. Come on, one more try, one more try. Oh, come on! I can't be this bad at baby spit. It's freaking baby spit. Who is this bad of baby spit? Okay, that's just being stupid. Alright, I got this, I got this, I got this. I got it! Alright, barely got that one, but there we go. Yeah, ooh, that was gnarly. No, actually, it was funky. Or it was outrageous. It was way cool. Yeah, I almost seen special, uh... Special levels from Super Mario World here. What is it? Outrageous, funky, way cool. Mondo! Gnarly! Is, was Gnarly one of them? I don't remember. I, yeah. I remember Funky was the one with, like, that was like the level with the, uh... That you, they showed the very, uh, like, the intro cutscene thing, or whatever, when you love the, the game, actually shows you a part of Funky, which is kind of cool. And then Funky's also a character in Donkey Kong! There we go. I duff, I rant. Uh, I'm not even sure what that had to do with anything, but anyway, there's more of these things over here. We're gonna go- Oh my god, it's a bull! Get out of here, bully! You're bullying babies! Do you know how wrong it is to bully babies? Isn't it illegal to bully babies? I don't know. I think it's illegal to bully babies. I think if you were a giant cow head and you started to att attack babies, you'd probably go to jail. Just a thought. I don't know. It, se it seems kind of like an accurate assumption to make. I also don't want to fight these dry bones. Come on. Okay. Good, he didn't even try to fight me. Get one single coin there. What a ripoff. But you don't really expect too much. We're getting a nice good uh, bunch of cannonball armors, which is nice, because cannonball armors will be actually really helpful for the upcoming boss. Because of course there's going to be a boss at this point. I mean, you've just come to, come to expect bosses in RPG games. Uh, anyway, very important, before you head up, you actually want to head down here, because there's actually some really good stuff here, uh, if you actually talk to the Yoshis. Well, not this Yoshi. They're apparently in this dead end here, and they're kind of stupid about that, but you get a 1-up super, and that's actually not... Um, this one right here, this Yoshi I want to talk to right here, because he gives you, and I actually alluded to the last episode, you get the Drain Badge. This badge might be one of the best badges in the game, actually. It's definitely one of the better badges in, one of the better badges in the game. Oh, that's not, Tongue Twister, Tongue Twister, and the freaking yellow Yoshi wants more food. See, I told you the fruit wasn't going to be enough for you, man. You're like, no, a fruit's going to be perfectly fine, I won't be hungry anymore, but nope, nope, I was right. Uh, but anyway, Drain Badge, as we'll be seeing soon, uh, very useful badge. What it does is it, um, the number of hits you, it, it gives you, after you attack, the number of, uh, health equal to the number of hits you had during that attack. Uh, which, for example, a jump attack, since there's a, uh, you hit him once with the baby and once with the adult bro, is two hits. And a hammer would be one hit, because you only hit with the hammer once. And if you use a full green shell, it's 16 hits. Uh, so, it, it's, it, I mean, when... It, Healing health back from attacking is always a good thing to, for starters in an RPG. But uh, if you use green shells, you get a full green shell combo off, or uh, later items will even give us even more chances to hit. You can easily heal back, you know, 16, 17 damage from just like one. Oh, well, at this point, 16 damage from a green shell. Which, um, doing 16, you know, doing all that damage and uh, additional healing on top of it, that's just, that's just a really great combination, actually. So, um,. Not a bad idea. Uh, I, initially, I was thinking I was gonna put on Luigi, but you know, you know, I'm actually thinking uh, Mario is probably gonna be a better pick. You know, we're gonna equip it to Mario actually because he's the one who has the weaker defense and the less HP right now. Plus, on top of that, he also is the one who um, he's gonna be our offensive powerhouse using these bro items to begin with. So you may as well, you know, this that item and bro and you know bro's items work very well hand in hand. So uh, it's a good idea to equip them together. Maybe it's not a bad. It's a nice way to compensate your offensive guy. As you saw right there, uh, off the finishing attack, I actually got 2 HP back. So every time we see him do damage like that, he'll actually get HP back. Um, no, avoid the freaking Schubert thing, please. Thank you. Uh, moving on. 
We're going to go into this room. Where we're going to? It's a toad. It's a toad. Why is there a toad in here? Actually, this this toad's awesome. I love this toad. This guy's Tobert. He's the other toad dude who uh, went on the in the time machine of the past. Uh, he was the blue toad, as opposed to Todiko, who was a minor character who already died. Uh, Tobert is actually cool. He says by boogity a lot, and that's always cool. But unfortunately, he has the very, very cliche RPG thing known as an amnesia. So he has forgotten everything that's going on, so unfortunately he cannot tell us anything about what happened to Princess Peach. Except that he made a drawing, because it's his brain art, which sounds very much like a brain fart, which is kind of funny. And that is, dude, you need to take better, you need to take better art lessons. That is a horrible drawing. Looks like a kindergartner made this drawing. Okay, it's, it looks like a fifth grader made this drawing. That's a bit more accurate. Are you better than a third grader? No, okay. Um, bad reference to are you smarter than a third grader. Uh, you got Tobred's drawing. Yay. Uh, that's actually a decently important plot point later, but that doesn't come into play for a while. But anyway, Tobred wants to save the Yoshis. He's like the only one who actually gives a shit about the Yoshis, apparently. So, uh, apparently they're going to be reborn as monsters. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, we have to get them out of these, out of you to save them. But, uh... There's this huge nasty thing guarding the exit. Well, of course. You know, it's an RPG, dude. There's always going to be bosses at the exit. That's how it works. <laughs> and it smells really weird. But luckily, we are the freaking Mario Bros. And we're going to spin around because we are freaking awesome. That's right. We're amazing. Who are you guys? We're the Super Mario Brothers. We're like superheroes, except we're actually fat Italian plumbers. Anyway, with that, this is Lucky70x signing out. Uh, yeah, kind of a short episode, but this is sort of like the transition episode between this and the boss. So in the next episode, we fight the weird smelly thing in the back of Yub's belly. Um, good times. Uh, well, let's quickly read the description. Uh, yeah, blah 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 blah, Tober, blah 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 blah, giant boss, blah 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 blah, see you next time, bye bye.